TV because I had can't think of a better way to start off the video. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do um what would it be like a game collection video, I guess. And no real reason to be honest. I guess it's just that I've been on that kick where I've been watching videos on YouTube and it's like, man, I wanna do that. And then also because you know everyone's collection is at its highest, but then it like goes down a lot, and then they have to like rebuild it. And I heard the mail. Um, but no. Um, but it's because I think my collection hasn't gone down yet, so I guess it hasn't gone down yet. You know, so might as well show you what I have. As of what uh, August like third, twenty fifteen, something like that. Yeah. Also, these are not all my games. These are just my PlayStation games. Uh, I had more, but most of them were my friends, and he took them back with him when he moved. But he left the crappy games, so that's why I have a bunch of shovelware, shovelware on the bottom shelves. I basically just put the better games that I would actually play on the upper shelves as for easy access. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay. Um, usually I have different consoles, like different systems, sorted out by like shelves. That's how I have it at different parts. But not here because I kind of don't have room, I guess. I don't know. I have a huge like bookshelf. But I have a video cabinet for like the other house. Yeah, that, yeah, half of my games are at one house, half of them are at the other, so, that, and I'm just recording this first, because all the games, why not? Alright, let's get started with PS1, I guess. Alright, um, these are the shovelware games. It would be, would be helpful if they were on camera. Well, I don't know if they're shovelware, I've heard some of them are decent. Oh, well, these are just the ones that I don't play, uh, bug, uh, these are PlayStation 1, uh, Bugs Life. Bass fishing, wow. And mermaid, little mermaid. Great, alright. Um and I have a feeling you couldn't see any of it. Jeez man, gotta get better focus. Bugs life, bass fishing, little mermaid. Crap. Let's go. And then we got PlayStation 1 games. Most of them my friend gave me. But some of them I found at my game store. So that's cool. You know. Uh, got some Tomb Raider games, Tomb Raider 2, and, gee, my camera's so shaky, jeez, man, jeez, get a better angle on that, I guess, Tomb Raider 2, and the other game's gonna fall over, oh no, uh, Tomb Raider 3, I don't have the first one, I don't really like Tomb Raider that much, I tried to play it, and I just couldn't really do it, I wasn't good at it. At it. Uh, but then we got Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. That's a really good game. And then we also have uh, Mrs. Pac Man. That's a great one. Great one right there. Jeez. And then these two I got at the game store a few days ago. They're really great games. You got Spider Man for the PlayStation 1. I played the N64 version years back, but I don't have that one, so I found that one and played that. And then, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. This is like a real-time strategy. Well, no, it's like you plan missions. Uh, it's really kind of confusing. And then we just got some memory cards. Alright, let's move on to PS... PS2. Now, these are just the games that I would play. Uh, these three are from Blockbuster. My friend never uh, gave them back, and then they went out of business, you know, so... Can't really do that now. Alright, um... But we got Crash Bandicoot, like, 5, I think it is, even though 5 isn't in the title. Uh, Twin Sanity. This was, like, the first game that I tried to LP. I haven't uploaded any of it to YouTube, and I don't know if I ever will. Because it's worse than Paper Mario, the, like everything about it. I mean the video, not the game. The game is great. 
though, but then we got Kingdom Hearts 2. Not the first one, though, but I just found the second one at the store once for like 20 bucks. It's like, hey, that's a great game, great deal, might as well. I played like the first like two hours or something. I never got out of the town, though, so. And I, I didn't get far. Then we got SpongeBob, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's a good game. It's one of those games that you buy that I bought but I haven't played. I have a lot of those, and that's probably not a good thing. And then we got Final Fantasy X-2, or X-2. I had the first Final Fantasy X, but that was my friend's, and he took it with him when he left. So, And I never really played the first one. I played the second one because um, another friend gave me his PS2 with some games, and this was one of them, and I played it. And I wasn't good at it because I was like 7 or 8. <laughs> Yeah, this was another one that he came that came with it. He gave it to us. Uh, Star Wars is true. It's Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. You learn to speak. I don't have a lisp, pretty sure. I don't know, though. And then got Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. That's a good game, but I just never really got into it that much, which is weird because it's like a collect-a-thon. But then we got this one. I don't know if it could be considered a game or not, because... It's like a demo disc. PlayStation Underground Jam Pack Summer 2002. Uh, it has a demo for Half-Life on there. I played that a bunch. And then we got the Blockbuster games that I have to pull out and read. Because uh, it's the Blockbuster case. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Burnout 2 Point of Impact. I've heard that's a good racing game. I haven't played these Blockbuster games, by the way. Sorry about that, though. I guess. Then we got NBA Street. That's a game that I probably wouldn't play. I'm not into sports that much. And we got Kinetica. I think that's another racing game. Uh, then we got PS3. Uh, not very many PS3 games. I had a lot of PS3 games. Those were my friends, though. You know, he took those as well. These are just the ones that I have. Don't play my PS3 very much, to be honest. Aside from, like, Nino Kuni. But you guys would know that, wouldn't you? Well, you wouldn't recently, because I haven't been uploading any of it, jeez. But spoil- Oh, crap, they all fell over. Okay, uh, we got Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. You guys should know that, though. Uh, we got Portal 2. PS3 edition. Port the Portal series is great. I don't own the first one, though. But that, that one's good. It's a good short game, as well. And then Little Big Planet 1 and 2. Second one is special edition, wouldn't you know? I don't have the third one. I didn't really know they had a third one, to be honest. Um, but they have it now for PS2. For P yeah, PS2, no. But they have it for PS3 and PS2. Uh, oh my gosh, say your words. Jeez, PS3 and PS4, apparently. Uh, these are the games that my friend left. Yeah, they're kind of shovelware. Uh, the... The, the camera thing for the PS2, like the eye toy, I guess. Then the N an NFL thing, 2001. Happy Feet, a Harry Potter game, and Madden. And then these are games that I just had. And I don't know why, but I have them. You got a Cars Mater National. I remember that name because I played it for like 10 minutes. Then a Bratz game. I never played that. My sister played it when she was younger, though. So that's... Interesting. Also, t 10 minutes already. Jeez, this might be a long video. Especially when we get to uh, the Nintendo stuff. Yeah, I kind of am a Nintendo fan. Spoilers. Most of it isn't here, though. It's at the other house in the video cabinet. I have a lot more of that, though, so that's what most of this video will be. Alright, I'm going to cut to another part of the house and show you the Wii U and some Wii games, because most of them are at the other place. So, see you in a second. Here we are in the living room. And we got the Wii U and a few Wii games. And the Wii U. And I'm gonna start off with the Wii because... Or the Wii U because the Wii will continue on into the next part. part. So, that's gonna be fun to do. Also, I don't know if I'll put transitions 
in between these clips because that takes up like a lot of space or something. But anyways, we got a Nintendo Land. And we got the black Wii U, but it, it didn't come with a Nintendo Land. It came with Mario Bros. Wii U. That's a pretty good game, though. But we got this at GameStop for... I guess $30. It says it was 60 but then it says 30 I thought they paid, like, 50 for it, though. I don't know. Then we got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. That's a really fun game. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of those games that I played non-stop till I beat it, and it took, like, three days to 100%. I didn't do any of the timed missions, though. Those were kinda crazy. But then we got a New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U. Super Luigi is a great game. It's really hard, though. I remember I tried to LP it, or kind of LP it, like, right when I got it. Like, camcorder LP. And I recorded off the Wii U gamepad, and then... Nintendo didn't like that, so I took the video down. But then we got just games that... I don't... That are just, like, my sisters, to be honest. Uh, Sing Party? We got, like, microphones for that somewhere. And then Just Dance 2014. Yeah, that's... A little outdated now, don't you think? Shut up. I don't know. Um, that's kind of it for, like, uh, for, like, actual games for the Wii U. Like, solid games, not downloads. You know what? I might as well show you downloads as well. Because the tablet was over here. I was playing Donkey Kong earlier. So, I guess I'll show this. Oh no, you saw my face for a second. Because you so haven't seen that before. Well, you know what, you actually have, because I've done videos. Where it shows that. I don't know, I tried to do the... Thing with the joystick and then touched it. I had demo for like, tank, tank, tank. And that's a, that's a worthless demo, because you can't do anything in it unless you buy it. And then I got the Pikmin 3 demo. That's a good game. I should I should get the actual Pikmin 3 because, you know, I have the first two. But here are my download games. Um, we got Earthbound and Super Metroid and The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap and Donkey Kong 64. They are really good games, but I don't really have that many download games on the Wii U. I have a lot more on the Wii, though. So... Um, I'll show you those when we get to the Wii games, or at the end of the Wii games. So, yeah. Alright, that's enough for the Wii U. Thank you. Thank you, Wii U. You were a great help. Right, now I guess I'll show you what Wii games I have over here. Because the rest of them are at the other house, you know. These are just the ones that I guess I haven't moved over there, because if I have... Like, all of one game type at one place. Like, I'll try to move all of them over to there. But that only really consists of the Wii games. I have a, I have the good the good ones are at the other house. I should say that. Yeah, well, you can't tell what this is. It's Wii Sports with its crappy, not even CD case. Uh, you got Mario Kart Wii. That's a good one. I remember wanting that for my birthday. Just for... I don't even know why. I guess I played it at my friend's house or something. And then Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. We had Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. That was one of the first games that we got for our Wii. But I guess... Uh, at one point, we had a friend who had, like, a teenage son and a four-year-old daughter or something. Uh, they're not friends anymore, by the way. I kind of hate them. And I guess their daughter got into the games and stole the disc of the original Olympic Games, because we have the case for it somewhere, but we don't have the game, so I guess she broke the disc, is so I'm going to assume, because I had a whole bunch of Lego stuff that she broke that I spent like at least 10 minutes working on, even though it was really small. And then Sonic Unleashed. Apparently this game sucks. I don't know. I liked it. I didn't beat the final boss, though. I got to the final boss, but I didn't beat it. So, that was fun. 
I might not LP it because people are like, oh, it sucks. And I haven't played it in a long time. I don't know. I remember having good memories with that. But anyways, um, I have the shovelware Wii games in like a chest over there. And I'm wondering if I should go get those or not, because they're really stuff that like my mom bought, but just didn't touch. Like we haven't touched those in years. Like the Biggest Loser. Um, there was a game called like Disney Universe or something like that. That game was like Little Big Planet esque, but it was sucked. Basically, there's a whole bunch of crap in there that me. Oops, I was covering the microphone on accident. But anyways, in the cabinet over there, there's a whole bunch of shovelware that no one cares about really. And I don't really care about either. Uh, dude, I should get like an actual case for this, like a Wii case, and then like get one of those custom inserts off of that website. So I won't forget this exists. Because even though it came with the Wii, it's actually a decent game, to be honest. Well, you know. Gee, I'm dragging this out too long, man. This video is going to be like an hour just be. As I'm rambling, jeez, man. All right, um, all right. I'm gonna do another cut, and I'll do the games at the other house. I don't know how I'm gonna structure this because I can move the clips around. I'll figure something out, you know. <laughs> uh, that's like a catchphrase now. I'll figure something out. Yeah. Here's the rest of my games in this video cabinet basically and basically from here on out uh it's gonna be nintendo so if you don't care about nintendo i guess just don't watch the rest of the video because i don't have any xbox things and that's because xbox just never really liked i never really liked any of the stuff that they had I never really cared. And since I ended with like half of the Wii stuff, I guess I'll start with the Wii stuff. And here it is, I got it all nice here because you got a cabinet, you know. I'll still say it anyways, there's the books down there. Um so yeah, um I have them organized uh, by like console in different sections. And then every console I have, like, um, organized its own kind of way. But most of them, <laughs> breathe, don't forget to breathe, jeez. So, most of them I have organized by, like, character. So, like, at the front, it's miscellaneous, and then it goes, like, Zelda, Mario, and, like, Kirby, and Metroid. That's how I have it organized for this one, because I don't have that many games for the Wii, to be honest. Not many good ones. But, uh, yeah, let's get started, I guess. You can probably tell what they are already, but I'll show you anyways. Alright, so we got Okami. Great game. Seriously, I probably have sunk like 200 hours into that. Played it a few times. Oh man, Twilight Princess, who would have guessed? Oh man, Skyward Sword, who would have guessed? Uh, interesting thing about Skyward Sword, well, I just opened that with one hand. I never would have thought I could do that. Um, interesting thing about Skyward Sword, uh, I guess, is that I got the version that has the CD, but it does not have, it didn't have the gold Wiimote, though, so... That sucks. I got it, like, the Christmas it came out. Like, it wasn't right when it came out in November. I got it <sighs> December. Oops, I covered the microphone again. I don't know the quality. How the quality of this video is going to turn out, but I don't know. Anyways, the rest of the collection. Uh, Super Paper Mario. Everyone doesn't like this game as much because it's not much of an RPG as much as the other ones. But it's still a great game, though. You can't deny that. <laughs> I personally haven't beaten it yet, but 
you know, it's a good game. I kind of stopped playing around Chapter 4 because it was kind of a maze, but still a great game. And then also we got Super Mario Strikers Charged. I, I started an LP of that, but I never finished it because that game is hard. Either that or I just suck. And then we got Galaxy, Mario Galaxy. Most people have that. I don't have the second Galaxy, though. Cameron does. Then I got Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I think I've uploaded some of that. I recorded a whole... I recorded, like, three hours of that with Cameron back in, like, 2012 or something. Because I have files of it on my computer. Because I was watching them earlier. Not watching them, but I saw them. Then I got Kirby's Epic Yarn. I think I bought that because Chuck Conroy's LP of it, but... Yeah, it, it's a good game, though. I think I go to, like, World 4. And then Kirby's Dream Collection. It says it's Special Edition. It's the case that has the CD, but it didn't come with the CD because I bought it used. So that sucks, because Kirby music is amazing. And then we go into Metroid for this next part here. So we got Metroid Other M, which... I think the only reason I bought it is because it was like six dollars. Because that game kind of sucks. I spent like three hours playing that game and only like an hour of it was actual gameplay. And you can't skip the cutscene ends unless you're in like hero mode or something, which you can't do until you beat the game and it's really stupid. And I just have the best camera angle here. You know, I think it would be better if I had two people. I don't know though, but we got Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. That's a good game. I suck at it though. Because I can't point very good. Then we got Monster Hunter 3. Try. That's a good game, too. I'm not good at it, though. And then we're kind of going into this stuff that doesn't matter as much. Well, I mean, we got Animal Crossing City Folk. Or let's go to the city if, it, if you're in, like, England. I think that's what it is or something. And then most of the rest of this is kind of shovelware, I guess. Let me hold the bottom of it. See if that makes it better, because my hand's hurting. Jeez. Wait, uh, Sonic the Black Knight. Not gonna lie, I received that as a gift. It's a cruddy little game, to be honest. And then we got this one. I don't know why I have that one. My friend picked it up as shovelware and just gave it to me. Because we were at the store and they have a policy thing where if you buy five, your sixth item is free. Well, it's mostly your un your least expensive item is free. That's what I should say. I gotta get down on the floor now. Well, I don't have to, but... Jeez, man. And then, mostly, this little aisle here is Guitar Hero, because my dad likes to play that. Then we got this one, Acme Arsenal Looney Tunes. I don't know. But apparently, the Wii version is, like, the most horrible thing ever. Because there's, like, a PS2 version or something, and that one's better. So, yeah. I'm on the floor now. Oh, jeez. Good thing I didn't hit the home button. Too close, man. Jeez. Yeah, then the rest of this is Guitar Hero. To be honest. Guitar Hero 5. Um, Guitar Hero World Tour. Um, this one's like a combo pack. It's cool, though. Because it's a uh, Guitar Hero 3. And a uh, Guitar Hero... I don't know what that last one is. Aerosmith, I think. Guitar Hero 3 and Guitar Hero Aerosmith. I think that's what it said, jeez. Guitar Hero Metallica, that's a good one. I like Metallica. And then, a uh, Guitar Hero Warrior of Rock. Shadows in the way. And then those are game manuals, because I, I got empty cases for GBA games that I didn't finish doing, because I don't have a 3D colored printer Pokemon books. You know, now that I think about it, I dreamt. I just had a dream last night. And it had Pokemon books in it. So that's ironic. Maybe. Um, well, but now we can go on to other console things. You know what, actually, no, I'm gonna make a cut. And I guess I'll splice in the Wii Virtual Console things, because I can't record those at the moment. So, yeah, okay, we'll do that. GameCube games, wow, man. I think I probably have the most GameCube games. Probably like, that's probably like 30 right there. 
Yeah, I think I do have the most GameCube games. <laughs> I just woke up, sorry. But then again, it's like 12 o'clock, and I shouldn't be yawning. Anyways, let's start out. Uh, it's the same organized as before, except Pokemon would go in front of Zelda. But there isn't Pokemon for the Wii. Well, there is, but I don't have it. And then here, interesting thing about the GameCube is I have the games that I would play. This just kind of happened by accident. <laughs> But it's kind of true, and it, I don't know how it works, but it does. The games that I play the most, or like my favorite games, are on the top shelf. The games that I might play but put, wouldn't really play as much are on the middle shelf. And then the games that I just bought because I wanted to buy them are on the bottom shelf. Well, let's get started, I guess, because you guys care so much. I know you do. Man, oh man, you didn't see what half of them are already, but I'm going to show you. Oh yeah, this will be fun, cause... Darn it, oh man, okay. Um, the Pikmin 1 and 2. Oops. The yeah, Pikmin 1 and 2. Right here. Uh, great games. You know, you would know that though if you watch my LP. Even though I suck at the first Pikmin, I'm much better at the second one. Then we got Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I remember you saw this at like... The game at McVans one day. It's like, what is that? And then I got it, and it was great. I don't have Coliseum, though. Alright, on to Zelda's. Oh, yeah, you know what I just thought about? You know, we're back at Zelda's, so this would make it better to talk about. I found this in McVans also. The Zelda Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. It has... It would help if you showed it, right? It has the original Zelda, Zelda 2, Majora's Mask, and Ocarina of Time. Not in that order. I remember I saw that at the store as well. Probably not in the same visit. But my dad saw it, and he's like, wow, that's really cool. And I saw it, and it was like, wow, that's really cool. Let's get that. And then we got it, and it was great. Because I remember we just sat there for hours playing the first Zelda. And that, that was fun. And I started playing it as well a few months ago. I still haven't beaten it, but that's because I kind of stopped playing. I, I seem to do that a lot, man. I, I remember I, we tried to stream, me and Cameron, and that's what we streamed. Me playing through the first bit of the original Zelda. Uh, but then this other one here, I think there are like five total games. Oh, uh, like, yeah, five total games on, for like, five Zelda games on the GameCube. I have three of them. Well, four if you count Twilight Princess, but that's the Wii version. Then we got Wind Waker here, though. It's Jesus. Talking about everything except the game there. Wind Waker. I remember I just tried to seek that game out for, like, years. Because I saw it in the demo for the collector's edition. And I just loved it. And I wanted it so much. And I got it. And I played it nonstop. And I stopped at the Triforce part. Because that's where most people stop, to be honest. And I... Don't know. I don't really know why I stopped. Cause I don't. I. I don't hate the sailing. I like this sailing. It makes me feel nice. But anyways, we got uh, this last one for GameCube that I have is Legend of Zelda: Four Swords Adventures. This is a good game, but the bad thing about it is to play multiplayer, you need multiple consoles, mostly Game Boy Advances, and you need multiple of the same game, which I only have one of. I have the game. Um, I have the, um, Link to the Past, Four Swords Combo, and I have a Game Boy Advance. Now I just need two of those, and I need a Link Cable. I don't have any of those. I never did. That's what prohibits me from playing that with anyone. Also, there's enough space to have a game on this top shelf and a game on this shelf that aren't there, but there are these stupid lock things in the way of the cabinet. Like, it's for a lock, but we don't have the key. So we're just gonna take that part out. Oh yeah, while I'm thinking about it, um... I don't have Twilight Princess for the GameCube. But I have it for, you know, the Wii. Most people are like, oh man, the GameCube, yeah, that one was great. Even though it's the same game, but you know what, I would prefer the GameCube version. It, like, I'd rather have the GameCube version than the Wii version, to be honest. But I have not seen the GameCube version. I saw it once, actually, at my game store. 
but it was like thirty dollars though and I already have the Wii version I'd much rather have the GameCube version but I'll have both but I don't want to pay like fifty dollars for it cause this Wii version I got it I got it it was on like clearance or a sale at Walmart or something and they were selling it for like ten fifteen dollars it's like what a steal man jeez Anyways, um, no more Zeldas. Actually, there are more Zeldas. But on to the other games. We got Metroid Primes 1 and 2. Uh, I'll start with Metroid Prime 2. Because I got that one first. This one's a good game, but I don't think it's as good as the first game, to be honest. Even though I played this one first. And it looks like there's spit all over my camera. Darn it. Man. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. Man. Yeah, you guys really needed to know that. Jeez. Okay, I did put it back in the right spot. Okay. Uh, Prime 2, my friend gave me that. That was like one of those first GameCube games I remember. And then this game, Metroid Prime Shoes over there. Sorry, oops. We got Metroid Prime here. Great game. If you have a GameCube, you most likely have Prime. And this game is fantastic. I had the second one first, though. I found this one a few years ago at the store for, like, $2. Which is, like, the best deal in the world. You know, so... Jeez, oh, I think the white noise machine just stopped. Anyways, Mario games now. Alright, uh, we got Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Probably one of my favorite RPGs, like, ever. It was one of the first games I played. That and Pikmin were one of the first games I have, like, really fond memories of. There's something in my eye, dude. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Uh, stupid piece of crap. Uh, but yeah, I remember playing that and Pikmin. I think it was the second one, actually, because I had Pikmin 2 first. And I played those for hours and hours. Like, those were the first games I got. One of them, some of them. Uh, the other two were Spongebob 1 and Mario Party 7. You didn't even see the 7. But yeah, and then uh, after that, we got... <sighs> Grab the game, thank you. Got Luigi's Mansion. For like, $30 at the used game store. And I've seen multiple copies of it, multiple at the same time, even. It's still 25 bucks. It's like when I saw that copy, when I saw like 30 copies of Pokemon Platinum up on the shelf at once. And they were all like $30. Or something like that. Speaking of Platinum, I guess, you know, I have it here. And I own the game, but I lent it to my sister. And she lent me Black, because Black was like her game and Platinum was mine. But she lost Platinum. Like, she lost the game card. So, I hope I don't have to buy a new copy of that. It's been years and she hasn't found it, but I'm still gonna hope that she finds it. Oops, I hit the camera. Anyways, next game here is Mario Sunshine. I'm doing that one, this one right now. And to be honest, I'm kinda tired of it, you know. Cause, it's really... It's a good game, but especially if you're going for 100%, it gets really boring. Really fast. Okay, and then we got the Mario Parties here. I'm just gonna take them all out at once because they're the same freaking thing. I have four, five, and seven. I don't have Mario Party 6. Oops, you saw my shoes. I don't care. Mario Party 7. This is probably one of my favorite Mario Parties aside from the original three, to be honest. Mario Party 5. I played that a lot with my sister because she saw it and it's like, wow, you know, we played so we played it a lot. And I got this one rather recently, to be honest, at the game store. And I'm not gonna lie, I bought it because, you know, me and her can play it together and it'll be so great. But at the time, uh, she was out doing something, I guess, for the night. And so I was just alone playing it at Luigi's Mansion. And I kind of really hated Mario Party 4. Well, I didn't hate it, but it was probably one of my least favorites. Out of the Mario Parties that I played. And we got this guy right here. If you don't know what it is, it's the Game Boy Player. It's game... 
Where does it say that? There it is. Game Boy Player. Yeah, that one. I got that for like 20 bucks. At the game store. I thought it was a good deal. Maybe it's not. But, you know, I'm still happy to have it. Because it's there. You know. And then we got... Gee, this is going to be the longest video in the history of the world. Because just doing PlayStation, Wii U, and a few Wii games took like 10 minutes. And it's already 10 minutes right now. But we got Super Mario Strikers. That's upside down. And it's a it's a great little game. Even if you're playing one player. Because I did that. I did LP of it. And me and Cameron played it. It was great. Wow, man. And then we got Wario World here. Interesting thing about this. I have a bit of a story for this game. Oh, this is a great game, by the way. It has Game Boy connectivity. And you 100% the game and you unlock this connectivity. Except I can't connect because, like, you need a link cable and a certain game, which I don't have. You know, so... Let me see if I can open this here and show you an interesting thing. Interesting thing about this game um, is that I saw it on the shelf of at the game store, but I also saw that there were like two people walking in to trade in their game, and this was the game that they were trading in. And I noticed recently when I played this game, their name is written on like this part of the disc. Or like their initials. So if for if somehow those guys, the like couple that gave me their game finds this video and they had their name on it, I can give it back if you want. <laughs> I don't know, cause like wow, man, and I don't know how I'm gonna put it back in the case. Darn it! Hold on. Okay, I did it. That was the best part of the video. And getting that last game in the case when there's only, like, space for one kind of sucks. Because there's very little space. I don't know why I have Melee on the middle shelf. Because it's a fantastic game. And, you know, I remember that... Gee, I have a story about, like, every one of these games, man. Jeez. Um... I remember that I had gotten out of, like, a surgery or something, and I had played the original, and I just loved that, and I knew that this game existed, and I wanted it so much, and I got it, and I played it, like, all through recovery, and it was great. Oh, man. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Fun times. And then Big Dip on a Bus is doing an LP of it, or he might have finished it, I don't know. And it's really fun to 100%. I never did it, because I wasn't good at video games, but, you know, it's possible. There's a Discoon trophy. That one sucks. But then, uh, we're going into Sega territory now, I guess. Uh, Super Monkey Ball 2. It's a good game, but it's another one of those games that I'm not good at. And then also the back is only just the mini games, which is a horrible representation of the game, because that's like a third of the game. I remember I had this game a long time ago, and I traded away it away as well. It, me and my dad played it a lot, and we got stuck at some point, because the levels were just too ridiculous. Really hard to get through, man. I think at one point I got farther than we ever did, but I got stuck still, so, jeez, man. I'm probably never going to beat the story mode. Anyway, we've got the Sonic games now, so we're getting into good territory. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It's a, it's a great game. I'm not saying that it's not. But I am saying that... I don't know if Sonic's not really my thing. Or what. But I have Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And the Sonic Mega Collection. And I have not beaten any Sonic games. Like, I don't know how. But I haven't. I've played through m multiple times. Like, I got to, like, Green Forest or something in the second one. And I played DX for, like, not very long, to be honest. I didn't get far in that at all. Then you got uh, the Sonic Mega Collection here. I think I was correct when I said this. Sonic Mega Collection. I know there's a second collection, like the Sonic Gems Collection, that has, like, a 
Sonic CD and Sonic R and other crappy games. These are the good games, though, I think. And then we got um, something that's kind of weird. I didn't know where to put it, but I knew there were multiple games. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I remember I got Ghost Recon, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon with it, and I hated that game. And I totally have cramps in my hand right now, jeez. But anyways, we got uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Played this with Abby and Cameron. Never finished either playthroughs, though. And the sucky thing about this game is that it takes, like, 30 blocks to save. And that's eating up, like, half of one of my memory cards. So that really sucks. And then, we got the Prince of Persia games now. I don't know how many there are, but I got two of them. Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. This game's pretty good. I never really played much of it, though. I never really got very far in it. Also, it's rated M. Oh, no. Who cares? Uh, but then we also got the one that I like more, to be honest. It is called, uh... It's called The Sands of Time. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I played that game more. I got through, like, the first or second boss or something. I still didn't get very far. I think I might have got, like, halfway through the game. According to the internet. I don't know. It's a good game, but I never played through all of it, though. Up uh, then here we got a really good game, but it's ridiculously hard. I haven't beaten the first cup. This is a racing game, by the way. F Zero GX. It's awesome. It's ridiculously hard, though. Like, if you've played it, you know that it's hard. And... I'm not good at it. You have to, like, train and practice to get good at it. I usually screw up on the lightning loop or the thunder loop in the first cup. Either that or Sand Ocean, man. Jeez. I suck at that game, but it's good, though. And we got a, a fantastic game here, but I got it used, and it didn't even have the right case. We got Resident Evil 4 GameCube Edition. As you can see, this is, like, not the official case. This is, like, just a cruddy case, and I thought I'd... Yeah, that disc fell out. Crap, hold on. It has both discs, but the way they have it set up is, like, horrible. Like, I'll, I'll show you here. Sorry you keep seeing the floor. Like, it doesn't have the dual disc GameCube thing. It's like a PS2 case. And they have both discs. On top of each other. I don't know how that doesn't, like, scratch out some of the data on one of the discs. But I guess it doesn't. I don't really know, because... I'm not good at this game, I don't think. I love it, but I'm not good at it. I, I can't... I haven't gotten past, uh... The giant zombie guy. Oh my gosh, did it seriously just fall again? You piece of crap. Why is this happening? Gotta be real freaking careful with it then. Jeez. I gotta buy, like, a case off of eBay for this stupid game. I know Tales of Symphonia has that case, but, you know, ow. Oh man, I hit my head on the top of the drawer. That hurt. Jeez, how did we spend over five minutes just going through half of the second row, man? Jeez. Oh, gee, I'm taking too long to do this. Oh, jeez, man. This is going to be like an hour long. Uh, SpongeBob Battle... SpongeBob the movie for the GameCube. This was like one of the first games I played. It's... It kind of has a Banjo-Kazooie feel, I guess, because it's like a collect-a-thon platformer, kind of. It's a good game, though. You know, I, I played a lot of it. I tried to do a versus of it because I have two copies of it. I got this one off of eBay, but then I saw this one in the store. It's like, I like this one more. I'll get that one. Now I have two copies, so I can do a versus of it if I want. I'm kind of thinking of selling it. I tried to give it to Cameron. He didn't want it, though. Another game here, though, is... Where's the title? Oh, it's on the side. Uh, Spider-Man... It, it's Spider-Man 2. It's a really cool, like, sandbox game. It's really cool. I've played... Oh, crap. 
I'll bet I just broke the disc. Darn it, no! That sucks. Really a lot, because... Man, I paid like six dollars for it. Two dollars! Cole, Cole, two dollars. I saw the first Spider-Man in there at one point, but I didn't grab it. I don't know why. Oh, I heard like a train or something. We have Beautiful Joe as well. Got that for like two dollars. Great deal. This game is awesome. It's like an old school beat 'em up or something. It's really cool. I might do a gameplay video of it one day. I probably will. There are multiple Beautiful Joe games. I only have the first one though. And then we're getting into the kind of weird games that are, you know, decent, but I don't really care that much about. This one is a good game, but I'm not good at this type of puzzle game. Pull your pop fever. I saw this one, like, every time I went in there, and it's like, dude, what is that stupid game? And the Game Grumps did a video of it. It's kind of like Tetris Attack. It's also, no, it's more like Kirby's Avalanche or uh, Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I'm not good at that type of puzzle game. I'm better at Tetris. And so I got Tetris. Tetris Worlds. Apparently I'm not good at Tetris either. Either that or I played the wrong game mode while I played it. Because I tried playing it. I did like a story mode or something. And it didn't particularly work out that well. Yeah, man, it sucked. Now we get into the shovelware sort of games. Well, not shovelware, just games that I don't particularly care about. We got tied to um, Rescue Rangers or something. I don't know. It's actually Chippendale. Not. Jeez, man. I'm not gonna lie, I played that game for like five minutes and I totally lost interest. I'm not, not gonna lie, the reason I knew what that game was is because I watched Josh Jepsen's Versus of the first game of it, and I thought it would be like that, but it wasn't. It's way different. And we got Soul Calibur 2 here. Many think it's one of the best fighting games alive. It's a great fighting game, too, though. I prefer Melee, to be honest. Me and my sister played that sometime. Played it for a good few hours. I like Talon the best. Then we got some of the games that are kind of weird. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, this is another sandbox style kind of game, kind of like GTA. And I don't really care for it that much, to be honest. I, mean, I probably wouldn't like GTA that much either, then, you know. Uh, this is a game that my sister grabbed one time we went there. She did that a lot, so that's what most of the shovelware is for. Is from, to be honest. The Ed and Eddie the Misadventures. This game is actually kind of decent. It's ridiculously short, though. Like, you could probably beat it in a day. And it's kind of cruddy at points. It's a decent game, though, I guess. I saw this at the store once, and my dad recognized it, and he's all like, Wow, man, I haven't seen that in forever. Spy Hunter! Me and my dad sat down and played this game after we got it. We couldn't get past the first mission. Because you have to do everything in that first mission perfectly. And we still don't know how to do things. And I put it in the wrong place. Oops, let me fix that. Jeez, man. Speaking of ridiculously hard games you can't figure out, this is a fantastic game. Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. This game is awesome. But I can't beat it. I can't beat the training mode. Neither can Dad. It's a good game. I know it's a good game. We suck at it, though. So, yeah. Uh, this is a game that I confused for another game. This is Bomberman Jetters. For whatever reason, I thought this was Bomberman Generation. But I picked it up anyways. And I'm not gonna... I've seen gameplay of it. You know? So I know what the game is like. But I'm not gonna lie. This is one of those games that I've bought, but have never played. So, yeah. So that's... I can't, I can't really give you much of an opinion on this, that one. Here's another game that I've never played, but I have a certain reason for it. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And this is another game that I kind of confused for a different game as well. I thought this was a Fantasy Star Online game, for whatever reason, because of the case. 
but it's not. It's Final Fantasy, apparently. It also has multiplayer that you need the Game Boy stuff to link up to. Now, I don't even know how to link up to it, like what game you would need or something. So I can't link up to it. And I've never played this game. You want to know why, though? You need, like, 30 blocks of memory for it. I don't even have that many blocks on either of my memory cards, so I can't even, like, save. So I don't feel that much of a need to play it. Then here's the game that I bought, because I remembered a game, an Avatar The Last Airbender game, but it wasn't this one. And it was different. Yeah, it was different than I thought it was. I played this for, like, five minutes, and I got really bored. I don't know, man. I keep buying all this stuff that I don't play. It's probably not a good thing. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should make a cut or not, because all the rest of the games are here, man, but... I don't know. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a cut. Yeah, why not? So, you know, and apparently it's almost an hour long, but I still have enough space, so let's do this, man. We're almost halfway there. Yeah, we got DS games now, and Game Boy games, and uh, Sega Master System games. And all the, the rest of the Game Boy games are over in a case, and I'll, then I'll show you my download games and my game manuals, I guess. I don't know. I'll fix something now. Uh, let's start with Game... Game DS games, jeez, man. No, WarioWare DIY. This game is really cool. Really cool concept. You make your own little micro games, like in the WarioWare series, and apparently I never closed the case. Because I tried to play it last night. And I didn't do as good. I think I did worse than when I first bought it. So, yeah, that sucks. It's a good game, though. If you know how to do it, you you can do a lot of stuff on that one. And then this is a fantastic game, Chrono Trigger, the DS edition. Now this is the same as Chrono Trigger on the SNES, or the Virtual Console even, except uh, I think there are some upgrades in areas, like you can do certain things that you couldn't do in the original. Oh cool, they have footage of the Black Terrain. Um, I'm not really quite sure what the extra content is, I know they added a few bosses or something, because I have the game on the Virtual Console now. That was mostly for recording reasons, but, you know, still. And I haven't beaten that one. It's a long game, though, you know. And then there are four uh, Kirby games on the DS. I have two of them. I don't have Mass Attack or Squeak Squad, which sucks, because those are good games. But I do have Kirby Canvas Curse for, like, oh, I thought it was, like, $7. But no, it was more than that. Uh, Canvas Curse. This game is decent, you know? It's good. Um, it's not that I'm not good at it, it's that I kind of think it gets boring at points. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, at first I only knew that game because of its final boss, Drossia. And how amazing that music is. It's so great. <laughs> uh, but jeez, man. But then, um, here's a shocker, Kirby Superstar Ultra. You guys should know I have this game because I've played it like three separate times on my channel alone, alone, alone. Um, the, the DS version, by the way, not the SNES version. The SNES version is in the Dream Collection. You guys know how much I love that game. I've played it through, like, more times than I can count. I've probably played that game through the most out of any game that I own. Probably that, or Mario 64 DS, or probably Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, to be honest. I mean, jeez. I don't usually play games through multiple times that much. If I do, either that means the game is spectacular... Or, I just really liked it, I'm gonna play through it again. But then we got a Pokemon Heart Gold. Here, going into Pokemon. Um, Pokemon Heart Gold. It's a good game, you know, I, I gotta say that, you know, it's, a, it's great. And, uh, when I got Heart Gold, uh, my sister got Soul Silver, which I have the insert for because I stole the case to make GBA cases. Because I don't really think, I think my sister probably lost that game, because we never used the cases. Like, I had a briefcase that I held my games in. <laughs> I'll show you that later, because that's where my shovelware games are. Or games that I play in to sell for money or something. Up then we have Pokemon Platinum. I told you about this earlier, about how I don't have the game, the actual game card for it, because I think my sister lost it, because I traded her that for Pokemon Black. Those are two are phenomenal games. Pokemon Platinum is probably one of my favorite games of all time. 
If not that, it's my favorite Pokemon game that I've ever played, because I, I, I remember just doing the weirdest stuff. Because I got it at the game store, and then we went to Bandito's, and then I threw up or something. Yeah, you guys really wanted to hear that, I know. But that was just, like, my favorite Pokemon game. Just, I have the fondest memories with it, Gen 4, man. And then we got another game, Pokemon game here, that I had really fond memories of. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team. It's the same as Red Rescue Team, except for the DS. So you can do, like, team missions. I personally played Red Rescue Team on the GBA. And I do have that, but I don't have a case made for it, so it's over in a little drawer over there. Not gonna lie, I sold Red Rescue Team for whatever reason. And then I found Blue Rescue Team. And then I found Red Rescue Team. In, like, consecutive visits. No, I actually, I sold it, like, when I was seven. So that was, like, a long time ago. I sold a lot of my games when I, a long time ago, man. I sold Fire Red, which was, like, my first game ever. So I don't know why I did that. Because it was probably one of my favorite games ever. At the time, especially. But then we got another Mystery Dungeon here. Game here, uh... I'm not gonna lie, this is the newest one that I've played. Actually, no, that's a lie. This is the newest one in my collection. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time. I saw Explorers of Sky. Like, I went there to get Explorers of Sky, but they didn't have it. But they had Explorers of Time and Darkness. But I got time. And then the next time I went there, they had Explorers of Sky. So, what do you know, man? But I didn't get Explorers of Sky. I'm wondering if I should've, because... You know, it's the third game of a Pokemon, like, series. The third games are better, mostly. Except in, in Darkness, Sky, and Times, they they change things. Like, they change who you can be. Uh, but then here, we got I, what I think was one of my first uh, Zelda games. Yes, Kitty, what do you want? Do you want to play in the cabinet? You probably do. Uh, we got Zelda Phantom Hourglass here. This was, like... What, probably one of my first Zelda games, to be honest. Everyone kind of hates this game. And it's probably because I have some nostalgic bias for this game, because it was my one of my first. I love it. I love that game, though, man. I've played through it a fair bit, probably like three or four times. But yeah, man, jeez. It's a decent game. I don't have Spirit Tracks, though, for whatever reason. Nor do I have Okami Din, now that I think about it. A game that I've seen multiple I've seen each of those games, but I still don't have them, which sucks. And then Mario 64 DS. I remember going to the used game store trying to get this game, and they didn't have it. But I saw it at a Walmart, like, brand new, for, like, $40 or something. So that was fun. I played through that a lot. I tried to do a bunch of verses with Cameron about that, but we just keep getting pissed off at some point about it. What are you doing, Kent? Jeez. And then we got, uh, the Mario RPGs. Um, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I had this game a long time ago, but it was one of those games that I traded away. For whatever reason. I'm going to assume it was because the final, final boss pissed me off so much. Because I got to the final boss at, like, a super low level. Because, you know, I was a kid and you didn't want to fight, so you ran away. I was at, like, level 10 or 15 or something when I got to the final boss. And it took me like three hours to beat it. When I beat it, I felt great though. This is probably one of my favorite RPGs next to, uh, um, next to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And apparently they've put this, uh, Partners in Time on the Wii, on the Wii U Virtual Console. So that would make it possible to record. That, that's fun, you know? Uh, then they also got the next one, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. This one is fantastic. Most think it's better than Partners in Time, but I like Partners in Time a little bit more because of my nostalgic bias, you know. Cat, what do you want? Cat, where are you? Jeez, man. All right, now we're gonna go into a uh, um. You know, I'll go into the 3DS games and I'll show you my shovelware, I guess. Alright, we'll go into 3DS games here, why not? Alright, uh, we got Star Fox 64 3D. I played the original N64 version 
at my friend's house a few times. I liked it, but I, I wasn't good at it. I seem to like games, but I'm not very good at them. And I, I, can't, I can't get to Aqualus. I can get to Zonus, but I can't figure out how to get to Aqualus. How stupid am I? Well, there you are. Um, jeez, man. Anyways, we got Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I've heard some people say that you can play this game a lot, but you'll stop after, like, three months. And I think that's what I did, to be honest. So that's great. I think I'm covering the microphone again. Jeez. Uh, we got Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. This game is great. I know there's a Wii version, but I don't have the Wii version. I have the 3DS version, though. There's still, it's just as good. I think. Except you can't really do co-op as easily. Which is the downfall of it, because I don't think they really added anything for the 3DS version. You know, so, jeez, man. I, rem I remember getting, like, all of these games, but I don't know, man. Like, because I remember we went to, like, an airbase or something, and I was just bored. And it's like, hey, cool, a game. Can I get it? Sure. And then we got uh, Kid Icarus Uprising here. This game is fantastic. It's hilarious. It's a great game. Chug has LP'd it, so if you don't know about it, go watch that, I guess. Or buy it yourself. That would be better. Because it's a, it's a good game. I don't know how you would record it, though, if you didn't have a 3DS capture card. Because, like, stuff is on the bottom screen and the top screen. It's really disorienting. Apparently, it's supposed to give people hand cramps, but... I don't think I ever got any. Also, sorry for the horrible glare on every single case. Ugh, jeez, man. Anyways, on to other games. Uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. This game's been out for, I think, a year or two, but I only just got it. Uh, f like, six or seven months ago. It was one of those games that when you get it, you play it non-stop. I played it non-stop and beat it in, like, a week. Uh, I don't think I've 100%ed it yet. I don't have all the keychains. It's a good game, though, you know. And speaking of good games, you got Pokemon Y. I like Pokemon Y more than Pokemon X. And I'm not going to lie, I don't have much to say about this one, because I can't believe it, but I stopped playing it. I just got kind of bored somehow. It just felt weird, man. You know? Like, I just didn't feel as invested. Oh, man, jeez, oh, like, I stopped after, like, like, right before the second gym or something, but, oh, man, jeez, oh, I'm getting on nasally to myself, maybe we got Link Between Worlds, this game is fantastic, we're doing a versus of it right now, me and Cameron, we haven't done that in a while, though, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that, uh, then we got a Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, we're kinda doing a versus on that as well, it's a great game. It's a remake of a great game. So it, it naturally is a great game. It didn't really add much, though. It added extra item buttons and a boss rush. And that's that's about it. And Master Quest. They mirrored the Master Quest, though. I don't know why they did. But they did. Uh, but then we got Super Mario 3D Land. I have, like, four copies of this game. Not all here, but I swear I had four copies of this game at some point. Oh, uh, but then the last of the 3DS games, so, ooh, sadness. Mario Party Island Tour. It's a decent game, but I like the other Mario Parties better. Because, I just... Like, they did weird things with this Island Tour one. And apparently they'd done it with, like, 9 and 10, and maybe 8. But I never played those, so I thought this was all coming from Island Tour. So I thought Island Tour sucked in that regard, because... Like, it's just way too different, in my opinion. So I don't really like the direction Mario Party is going, to be honest. Uh, then we got a Yoshi's Island, or Yoshi's New Island, actually, I'm sorry. It's the third Yoshi's Island game. It's a good game, it's a really fun game, it's a really cute game. And it's another game that I just haven't finished. I don't know why, but I didn't finish it. Like, I got to, like, the third world. I tried to 100% it as I went. And that might have actually been a bit, a little off-putting, to be honest. That might have been it. I don't know. But then we got another game that I haven't freaking finished. Jeez, man, I can't believe I haven't finished this one. Mario & Luigi Dream Team. Uh, fourth Mario & Luigi RPG. 
I did a bit of a blind LP of this. It's not blind anymore because I'm like two-thirds of the way done with it. Or something like that. And all of the games fell. I gotta fix the stack. See, they can't all be going straight like that because there's not enough room. So they gotta be going like that. And there just so happens to be paper there to catch it. Alright, I'm gonna show you my... Uh, uh, shovelware, I guess. This is a cat. I can't. See, this is how I kept my games before I cared about cases. I kept them in a briefcase like this. That's my old DS. It works, but it's really kind of a piece of crap. Yeah, I got Guitar Heroes. Uh, Star Wars 3. Lego Star Wars 3. Um, the, both of the Guitar Heroes. Guitar Hero Decades, On Tour Decades, and Guitar Hero On Tour. I played Guitar Hero On Tour a lot. I don't think I was the best at it. I couldn't get through any hard mode, but I was still decent at it. I gave it five stars. They got professional fishermen's tour. Bash fishing, that's what it is, to be honest. But then we got a game that's good, but I don't particularly care about because I beat it a long time ago and just never picked it up again. Uh, Drawn to Life, the next chapter. I never played the first Drawn to Life, and I don't think I plan to. To be honest. So. That's interesting. And I spit on my freaking screen again. And while we're up and moving. I might as well show you. My other DS games that I have no case for. Oh it's under the Mario Land. I forgot. Silly Mario Land. Get out of here. I'm talking about DS games. Uh, Mega Man Zero Collection, great game, I never finished it, cause, but then again, it's like five games in one, you know. I got to like the second one. I don't know, man. It's a good game, I just never finished it, mostly because it's multiple games that I never finished. I keep seeing the original Mega Man Zeros, like the separate ones, on GBA at my game store, but I just don't pick them up because they have this collection. But that would make it really easy to record, you know. I don't know. Anyways, we got Yoshi's Island D DS as well. That's a good game. I played it a lot. <laughs> Sorry I keep jerking the camera. Oops. I should be more careful with my games. We got Legos down there, by the way. This is a Lego thing. I just have some games in the bottom. This is where I keep my N64 games as well. I'll show those in a minute. Let's show these GBA games because I don't have cases for them made quite yet. And we got Fro... We got Frogger, um, Adventures. My friend gave me that game a long time ago. I never... It's kind of hard, actually. So that's funny. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. I That was the game that I played the most when I was, like, a little child. A lad. And then, oh, crap. And I just saw this and heard that it was fun, so I grabbed it. Uh, Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. It had a bunch of scores on it already, and I got bored with it really quickly, to be honest. So, I don't know what to say about that one, really. And then, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. Um, I have the first Donkey Kong Country and the third one, not the second one, though. But they're on GBA, so you might not like it as much, because I have the GBA games. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. I like that game, you know, it's really cool. Uh, and then the Sonic... Advance games. These are great. Sonic Advance 1, uh, 2, and 3. They're great games. Oops, it fell down. And then that's gonna be really hard to tell because the label's crappy. I guess what I bought this used. It's an official game, too. I looked and the number was on the label and everything's right. It's official. The label's crappy, though. It is a Castlevania Circle of the Moon. It's a really good game, you know. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, uh, uh, I'm forgetting what, what was the Castlevania on the PlayStation 1, the one that was really great, it was like Shadow of the Night or something, I'm sorry I keep forgetting this, jeez, I mean it wasn't, I don't think it was as good as like a Castlevania 4 or a, like Shadow of the Night, whatever it was, but it's a good game still, 
And then you just have a Super Mario Land on the Game Boy Advance. So that's that's a fun one. And while I'm over here, I might as well also show you uh, the N64 games, I guess. I don't know. I got some wireless Genesis controllers because I got like a knockoff Genesis thing that can play Genesis games. I've seen reviews of it, and I'm not going to lie, it kind of sucks a little bit. But, um, I really like the N64 games, you know, they're really great. Um, we got Banjo-Kazooie here. Don't have any boxes for these, by the way. So that sucks. We got, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Star Wars Episode One Racer. Some people just call it pod racing, I guess. I don't know. I uh, got Bomberman, uh, Banjo-Tooie, sorry. And then Bomberman 64. That's a good game. I don't have Bomberman 64, the second attack. Apparently that game is rare, according to eBay. And it's not. It should be worth, like, $30 without the case. Without the box. People on eBay are trying to sell it for $1,000. Like, $100. Whatever. It's ridiculous either way. Uh, but the back there... Ooh, crap. Oh, I have a Game Boy Advance case in there that I forgot about. That's how I got Mother 3. I bought it off eBay as well. And we got Diddy Kong Racing and Bomberman Hero. And then, uh... Also... We have, um, Jet Force Gemini in the console. And then there's also Miracle Warrior in the Sega. So that's cool. Oh yeah, I gotta show GBA games now, I think. I was way up close there. Sorry, jeez, man. Oh, these are custom cases, not my idea. But, uh, if you get a game, if you get a DS case, there'll be a slot for Game Boy Advance games. And you can put the game in there, and you can get like custom labels off of a website and I don't have a colored printer so I can't make those labels so I just have index cards that I cut to size and wrote the name on and put them in the little slot so yeah excuse my uh, ghetto cases sorry jeez man I can't really show these to be honest uh, I'm sorry you know but jeez man uh, DK King is swing I'm not gonna lie, that was a game that I just got because it's like, hey, you have five, you can get your six game free, and it's like, okay, I'll grab a game. So, I grabbed a game, that was the game I grabbed. I thought that was a different game, I think. But then we got, a uh, Donkey Kong Country Return. Donkey Kong Country, jeez. That's a good game. I think it is. I haven't beaten it, though, it's kinda hard. It's an understatement of the year, jeez. I have these organized by a game, like, person as well. Uh, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. That's a great game. It's a really short game. Short game is short. Jeez. Uh, and then we got Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. There are only two Kirby games on the Game Boy Advance, I think. And it really sucks because they're both great and it seems to be kind of lacking, I guess. I don't know. And then we're going to go into, uh, Pokemon, but I don't really have any, many cases made up, so that's why there are so few. That I have cases for. Uh, Pokemon Fire Red. That was my first Pokemon game. One of my first games that I ever played, I think. And I'm doing a Nuzlocke of it right now, I think. And I think I'm at, like, the third gym or something. And so, actually, no, I'm on the SSAN. Because that's... Yeah. Uh, Zelda games, not very many. I'm missing Minish Cap. I have Minish Cap on the Wii U Virtual Console, though. I'd rather have the Game Boy Advance game, though. But, you know. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and the Four Swords. Apparently I got a copyright on one of those videos, so I might take that down. It was a, just a copyright notice, though, so... I don't know. I think it was for the Dark World music. It was only in one video, too, which is really weird, man. Really weird. Uh, but then we got a Metroid Fusion. I do not have Metroid Zero Mission. I'm hoping to get that soon. I saw both Fusion and Zero Mission... At the same time, but I only had enough money to get one, so I chose Fusion. Because Zero Mission is just a remake of the first game, and I already have the first game. You gonna come play in the cabinet? No? Okay. I thought she would. Sorry. Um, oh crap, that's not good. And let's show the Super Mario Advance games. I only have three of them. I've seen all four of them at my game store, though. Like, all at the same time. So it's just a matter of, hey, are you not finding anything? Alright, get one of the advanced games. So that's what I've done. I have three out of four, by the way. 
this was one of my first games as well, Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario World. It was either that or Fire Pokemon Fire Red that I played first. I don't remember. But that game is amazing. It's Super Mario World. What can what can you say about that that hasn't been said? It's Windows and Movie Maker 2. I don't know. That's actually Mario RPG. Then we got Mario Advance 3, Yoshi's Island. That was my first exposure to Yoshi's Island, if I recall. Either that or the DS game. I don't have the SNES version. Sorry about that. And we got Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm playing through Mario Bros. 3 right now, the Game Boy version, by the way. And it's really hard. It's really hard. Holy crap, man. I've probably gotten, like, at least four game overs, and I'm only at World 3. Maybe it's because I didn't grow up with it, but I'm not as good as it as I am at Mario World. So that sucks. And now we got the RPGs. I do have Lost Age over here. Okay, good. Alright, um... Oh crap, I almost dropped it. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I'm not good at tactics. I'm good at the other fa Final Fantasies. It's a good game, though. Or so I've heard. So, yeah. I don't know. Um... Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls for Game Boy Advance, by the way. And the first and the first Final Fantasies actually kind of suck, to be honest. They're decent, but they kind of suck. Like, seriously, when I bought the game, the clerk told me, Ooh, Final Fantasy, the first ones, you're gonna need to make a map. And I haven't been able to do that. I haven't gotten out, like, the first little patch of grass. Yeah, I suck that much. Either that or it's that hard. And then, uh, we also have, a uh, Final Fantasy IV. I'm better at that game. Uh, I don't remember where I am. I think I got back to Baron. Um, and then, probably some of my favorite RPGs, these next four. Uh, next to the other RPGs that I've stated. Uh, Golden Sun and Golden Sun The Lost Age. I'm planning to do LPs of these two eventually. They're kind of long games, though, you know. Uh, Golden Sun Lost Age. Pro Lost Age is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> one of my new favorites, you know. It's such a great game. Uh, I think... I tried to do something. Like, I got out of the Gabombo statue, but I went back in for whatever reason. Because I thought you could get a gin. But I was thinking of a different one. So I went back in. So I saved and quit to get out of there because I saved at the very end of it. But jeez, man. And, and then Mario and Luigi Superstar saw you. Chugga is doing an LP of this game now. Luke Jin and other P and Game Guy and now Chugga. And the weird thing about Chugga's LP, for me at least, is that I loved his Xenoblade LP. I watched it. I I watched it feverishly. But this Superstar Saga LP, I don't care for. I don't know. Maybe it's because I played it like, four times, and I've watched, like, three different LPs of it, so I'm just kind of tired of it, I don't know, but I don't, I don't know, I'm just not as intrigued at that one as I am, even though he's really good at that one, I think, but then this is kind of, a uh, the jewel in my little collection here, Mother 3, Mother 3, and, cool thing about Mother 3, all these games are official, by the way, like, what I mean by that is they have the, uh, uh, the little stamp that there is on the label to tell you that it's a real game. There's Mother 3. It's an English translate. I think it's an actual copy of Mother 3, like Japanese, but someone put the English ROM on it or something. The English uh, patch to it, I guess. I don't know. But, like, is it going to focus? There's not enough light, is there? No. Mm. Okay, it's so an interesting thing about this is that it has the number, right there. You can see it, actually. Eleven. So it's a real game. As well. And not just, like, a bootleg or something. No, it's a real game. And that's so cool. And I, I remember I stopped playing that because I got to, like, Tain Tain Island, and I missed a permanently missable enemy for the battle log or something, like one of the back sprites, and I can't do it again, and I think I went through too much, through too much of the game to, uh, 
to just stop doing it. So I restored from a previous point, and I have to get back to that point just for another shot at it. And after I had gotten the rainbow gloves for Kumatora, that really sucked, dude, because I spent like 10 minutes trying to get that. Um, but now, um, I guess I'll show you the Sega games, and I guess, also I have an action replay for DS. I, there's also a weird CD that came with it, I don't know what for though. Uh, let's show the Sega games. Um, Wonder Boy, oh yeah, these ones have like little things. I gotta finish this up quick, dude, this is gonna be like two hours long. Um, jeez, come on, thank you. Got a Wonder Boy, which is... Basically, Adventure Island on the NES, but it's not, because this one came first, actually. Uh, Zillion. That's a great game. It's a cool game, too. And then we got a Miracle Warriors. That's a good game. It's a hard game, though. Me and Cameron and Owen found it, and we tried to play it, and they su they really didn't care for it, but I loved it. I loved that it was old, and it felt like Dragon Quest. Dragon Warrior. I don't know. But then we got Parlor Games. We tried to record that, but we just ended up deleting it. We also did Monopoly. Here's Monopoly. Apparently this game's worth like 20 bucks. Because, at least 20 bucks. Because that's how much I saw it at the used game store for. Uh, but then we got a... Um... Alien... Syndrome. Alien Syndrome. Syndrome. I can just show you the side labels if I really wanted to. But I kind of don't want to. Because that's boring. And then we got a... Choplifter. Not gonna lie, these first, like, five games are really the only ones that I play, to be honest, sadly. Choplifter. Um, Outrun. That's a good racing game, actually. And then we got a Rainbow First Blood something or other. Uh, there's this weird thing for the, for a controller that I don't have. I, I know where the controller is, though. I don't have it, though. So I can't use it. It's supposed to be, like, a joystick for the D-pad one. I don't know, though, man. Uh, but then we got, a Black Belt. Um, Dead Angle. I don't have much to say for any games other than the first five, because those are the only ones that I played and enjoyed, to be honest. Uh, Dead Angle, I forgot if I showed that one or not. And then we got this weird one. Hang On and Safari Hunt. The Combo Cartridge. And this is a quote from my uncle. Too bad they both suck. And that was funny. I, th I thought that was funny. Uh, Penguin Land. I have no idea what that game is about. It looks like a drug trip. Um, Reggie Jackson Baseball. And I might as well show this as well, because it's on top of some of these games. Uh, no case for this, by the way. That's why this is out in the cold. Space Area. That's actually pretty decent. Like, shoot him up, I think. Uh, Reggie Jackson Baseball. Uh, great Baseball. Great basketball, great golf, uh, pro wrestling, and then some CD games. F-16 Fighting Falcon, um, Super Tennis, you can't really see these ones, sorry, they way up against there. And then a ghost house, oh, it's the ghost beach, JonTron. Alright, um, yeah, actually, that's... It for the console games. I have virtual console games. I'll show those to you in a moment because I can't show you the ones on the Wii at the moment. So I'll have to show you those later. So sorry about that. So I'm going to make a cut. And that'll be it, I guess. Yeah, two hours long of me showing you my stuff. Hope you guys like it. Hey guys, it's later. Um, but I got both my Wii's hooked up. And I might as well show you my download games as well. Oh, I got Brawl hooked in Mario Kart channel. Um, Netflix and the Cave Story demo. But that's not all, because I have two Wii's hooked up. And going at the same time might not be the best idea, but best way to show uh, the games that I got. I guess the Wii isn't quite on. Oh, crap, I, I got it. Dang it. Okay, let's do this then. Hold on. I gotta switch the cord. Only take a second.
go. Alright. At least switch the cords. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. In the Wii itself, I didn't plug anything in. And I didn't even need to move outwards. Holy crap, that's bright. Um, jeez, man, are you gonna focus? Please? No? Oh, this is gonna be kind of tough to do. Especially if it doesn't focus. That's a little better. Alright, um, so, ooh, I need to do it the right way. So we got uh, Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, um, Yoshi's Story, uh, Super C, Secret of Mana, Paper Mario, and Chrono Trigger. All very good games, very great games. And then, also, I might as well show you my 3DS download games as well. Whoa, that's bright. Let's fix the brightness. Make it possible. Now it's too bright. Dang it. Alright, uh, I just have WarioWare DIY in. I'm not good at that, by the way. Uh, but then, oops, that's not the right one. I downloaded this a long time ago. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates Infinity. That's a good game. And then, uh, here are my downloads. <clears throat> Dr. Mario, uh, Kid Icarus, got that with Kid Icarus 3D, uh, Punch-Out, uh, the Oracle Games, this weird, uh, I don't know what that is, another weird thing, a game called Anonymous Notes from the Abyss, I thought it was Tales from the Abyss, but it wasn't, Metroid 1 and 2, Link's Awakening, you guys should know that though, uh, Pushmo, and Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition. I don't think you can actually download this game anymore, though, so that's interesting. Uh, well, that's it for the games. You know, jeez, took long enough. Ugh, well, hope you guys liked the video. It took two days to make. It'll take forever to upload, so it'll be fun. Oh yeah, before I forget, um, might as well be showing off game guides as well. This is the one that I have here, though. Um, I have this one here because the PlayStation's over here. All the others are at the other house, so. Yeah, don't want to forget this, I guess. Alright, real quick, like, I should just show the rest of my guides that I have. I feel like it. Box, stupid box, jeez. Alright, I got a Brawl guide, Smash Bros. Brawl. I got that when I got Brawl, because I just saw it. It's like, whoa, dude, a game book, because that was like the first game guide I ever got. And then we got Pokemon Platinum. Humongous god, look at how thick that is, man. Like, that's my hand, that's how thick it is. It's kind of in a crappy condition, but I got it for like five bucks, man. I mean, jeez. Even though I don't have the game anymore, probably not, but, you know, it's still fun to watch. You look at, yeah, fun to watch. And then you got a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue and Red Rescue Team Strategy Guide. I got this when I got Blue Rescue Team, because, like, huh, might as well look through this, because I don't remember if we ever beat that game. And then this is the only guide that had a poster. Like, out of all the guides that I've gotten, this is... All of them are used, by the way, as well. This is the only one that still had the poster in it. Like, most of the guides have posters. None of them have the posters in them. But that one did. Also, this is Yoshi's story. Like, there's no reason to have this guide except for getting all the melons, and that's what it is for. And then also, an interesting thing about this guide, I guess, is that it was literally falling apart... And there was tape on it in multiple areas, but some of the pages were falling out, so I glued some of them back in. That was fun. And you got Pikmin Guide that I still haven't looked at, to be honest. It has some cool maps in there, though. You know, it's also the Nintendo Power Guide. It's cool because it has, like, a field guide thing in it. Somewhere, where is it? Well, it has maps. 
That it has maps for story mode and a challenge mode. Dude, I know it has like a field guide. Where is it? There's like a field guide for like characters. Where is it? That's the distance spring. Well, I don't know. I can't find it just flipping through there. But there's a there's like a field guide for all the creatures, and it's really cool because it's like scientific and stuff. Also, this is Final Fantasy 2, not Final Fantasy 4, which would be Final Fantasy 2 in the U.S., actual Final Fantasy 2. And the interesting thing about this, I got it at a used game store, but it's like brand freaking new. Like, it looks like it hadn't been touched. Like, wow, man, jeez. I mean, I know I have Final Fantasy 2 in there, but I never really played it. But, you know, now, with that guide, I can get through that, I guess, if I want to. And then also, a guide for F-Zero GX... Um, a guide for a racing game, yeah, how stupid. But I think this game kind of warrants it, because of how ridiculous some of the tracks are. And it shows you how to get characters, which is always nice. Yeah, see, a uh, guide for, like, the Ruby Cup. Yeah, see, it has, like, a map of where all the stuff is. Like, on the track, so you would know beforehand. So that's interesting. Well, that's my guides, and this will probably be the end of the video. I haven't yet shown the downloaded stuff yet, but I, I still need to record that bit. Hopefully I'll be able to fit it all in, you know. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video. It's probably like an hour and a half long, if not more than that, so sorry about that. Hope you liked it, though.